We do ask, and I do believe, that moving the implants within the surgical pocket is very important in the post-operative period. If you think about the way we do this operation, we create a space between the chest wall and the overlying muscle and breast tissue. That space was not there before we started the operation. Into that space, we place a breast augmentation, a, a breast implant prosthesis, which basically, in its um, most basic form, is a spacer. It's a placeholder. It adds volume to a space which we have created. Now, your body does not naturally like to have spaces in it which God did not make. The space that we create to put a breast implant in is an artificial space. Now we trick your body when we put the implant in to creating this new space. During the first four to six weeks after surgery, this space becomes lined with a lining which we call a capsule. That capsule can either form just around the implant if the space collapses around the implant or in the post-operative period if you're moving the implant in the space to keep the space open your body will form the sac or lining all around the space. Once that lining is formed around the space, the breast implant is free to move within the space which was originally created at the surgical operation. And so the breast becomes a very natural um, moving structure on a woman's body. When a woman moves, her breasts move with her. This is a natural phenomenon. Um, and so if you have an implant that moves in the breast pocket, when a woman moves, her breast will look natural. If you have a breast implant that's stuck to the woman's chest, and when she moves, doesn't move, then it will look more like she has a ball in her chest instead of like she has a natural breast. Many patients that we operate on come back six months or a year later and have told me many, many times that everyone tells them that, they, that their breasts look very natural and that you can't even tell that they've had a breast augmentation.